Who goes there? I see a face. I see a certain Memboy. How you doing tonight, Afara? How you doing tonight, Memboy? You having a good week? <laughs> Thank you for the posture check and the hydrate check. I will do both for you now. Wrong mic. Only left ear works. What? What? Uh, oh. I know what the problem is. One second. I had to reinstall my audio drivers for Focusrite. But I know how to fix it. Yeah. Don't worry. I think I've done this before. I need to... I need to relearn how to fix this. Um, it should be... Oh, here it is. It should be... One channel. Apply. Different. Testing one. There we go. <laughs> as intended. There we go. Now it's much better. It's working as intended now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Indeed. When I first started using this uh, audio interface, I was using 1192 or something. And then I found out online that not only does it screw, does it get screwy, but VC face uh, lip syncing system doesn't work properly with it. So I dropped it down to 48. Awesome. Cool. Thank you for pointing that out. I really appreciate that. So, how are you doing today? Are you ready for some more adventures in Atwork? I sure as hell am. Gotta say, of, of all the uh, games I've streamed so far, I think I look forward to this the most, if only because we've been playing it consistently the most. Oh yeah, I also fixed my audio issues. I think. I hope. Mm -hmm. 2448 is plenty for quality for voice while also working with most game computer VIP VIPs. Okay. The uh Headset is working properly too, it seems like. Do, 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 do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lawless Time Show with your host, actual M AI and possible femboy Lawler Hicks. I am using a. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just realized something. One second. Testing. There we go. I am utilizing a PNG today because my computer has a hard time running both uh, the 3D4 avatar model and also outward. Some apps still use 44,000, 41,000, but that amount of real time upscaling on the driver's side is fine. <laughs> if you were here last week, was it last week? Wow, time sure flies, doesn't it? Um, I was trying to crawl home from doing a lot of exploration, the uh, Spire of Lights. I got my ass handed to me by an actual god, which is why in honor of our defeat last week, I have named today's title mentioning uh, killing gods. I'll have you know that I actually took the time to look up the wiki and try to avoid spoilers as I learned about different builds you can make in this game and different of what all the different classes and skills slots do. Unfortunately, there's only one Jedi build and it's not one to my liking, so we will be avoiding it. However, I have a good idea of what kind of skills, what kind what my next some what kind of uh, classes I would like to earn next. After we compl complete our um, complete some leftover chores to do over here in the marsh, 
We're gonna go ahead and head straight to Bur to the forest of Berg. We're going to complete some quests there, and then we're gonna make our way back to Sherzo, so we could continue our training. We're gonna go learn to get some shamanism up in this bitch, and it should be a good time. Once again, thank you so much for coming to tonight's stream, everyone. I hope you enjoy yourself. You have noticed that I have disabled a few of the redeems this time. That's so that there are no accidental, quote-unquote, accidental redeems of things that cannot actually happen because I am not using my 3D form at the moment. I want to say, I want you all to save your redeems, you know? Do we have a sleeping bag, chat? If we have a sleeping bag, like, there's a, there's literally a safe zone right there that we could chill at for the time being. I think I left my improvised backpack inside or my, my improvised uh, bags inside the building so it's probably not possible to go that way. Here's a spire of light right there. This is a bridge, so I presume we must be over here right now. Which is strange, because I don't see this rock that's so directly in front of me. But I know that the exit to this of this place to Enmerkle Forest is over there. Over there, in fact. So where are we, actually? Hmm. We're even out of water, and I don't think we can make a fire right now. This is what I get for not bringing a backpack. I don't remember this lamp being here. Very curious, chat. Very curious indeed. Hold up. Do you see that? A ghostly apparition. Now this was unexpected. I should have taken a screenshot of that before he disappeared. Very spooky. What a way to begin. Five more ghosts, huh? There appears to be a grave here. An adventurer's corpse. Master Trader Boots. Now, th that is a find. Gonna eat this uh, marshmallow in here for sustenance. Don't need this wood. But these are extremely rare boots. I'm not even sure if you can buy these. Gonna take those with us. And I already have a mining pick, which is starting to fall apart. So we'll leave that, but we'll leave this pick for now. Makes me wonder, though. Apparently, there are more ghostly apparitions out and about here, so perhaps we will find them in due course. This seems to be a dead end, chat, as far as I can tell. We must be over here, I'm guessing. The only way to find out would be to look over here and see if there is another mountain in this general locale. There's two here. Three, in fact. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> no idea at all. It's three in the morning in-game. Lights, the dawn is slowly coming over the horizon. So, eventually, we will be able to just walk home in the safety of the light. Assuming it's not overcast. If it's overcast, we're kind of fucked. <laughs> Man. I didn't think that cleaning my mouse pad and, like, the shower would do much, but it actually feels different. It feels better. That's many years of gamer grime removed.
I can't wait until we're powerful enough to defeat the uh, Lightmender in his uh, tower. But we're in no rush. We have many adventures left to go on, chat. Many things to kill, many things to loot. Quests to complete. I kind of wish there was a way to re-roll your skills in this game, because as it turns out, there are two other skills, or two other classes you can learn, and they're in the expansion countries, the expansion lands. So I'm not going to be going though, going there anytime soon. But if I were to, it looks like it's raining too. Let's go ahead and head home, dump my loot, and plan our next move, chat. I am fairly confident I murdered just about every dinosaur in the in this area. There may be more waiting for us, I'm sure. Neil, fate, meet the same fate. <laughs> this fucking axe. Beautiful. Extreme bleeding. The shield. It's nothing special, but it does do some lightning damage, since it is a palladium shield. Oh. Bandits. That's just what I need. This may end in my death, but if I am quick, or if I do some preparation, so a decent map preparation first... I forgot I could cast Sigil of Fire already. Imagine that. In fact, I could if I had a Firestone, but I don't right now. But we will go ahead and cast all our boons. Once we are ready, we're going to go ahead and kick some ass. Starting with a mage, of course. I'm out of ammunition. Oh, that's just great. Ah, uh, she used a nice explosion. Of course she would. On the bright side, at least I got a fast track back to Monsoon. <laughs> so I don't need to run all the walk all the way there. So it's not all bad. Always look on the bright side of life. I know Seth likes to... I know Seth is quite fond of just, you know, doing that on purpose. But I try to avoid doing that if when I can. Unless I'm like really fed up with the game. Which is not anytime right now which is not right now. Hopefully not anytime soon. Do 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 We have quite a lot of stuff to put away and a lot of things to sell. I'm gonna hold on to the Jade Acolyte robes though, even though they make you more susceptible to lightning damage. Also, the Master Trader boots would be very helpful for if I have to run and loot. All some good, all good things here. Once I'm done with the main quest line, I can actually buy houses in Avery's Hound. So you can bet that that's going to be one of my objectives later. 
In the meanwhile, though, we're going to take a well-earned sleep. In our luxury tent. I should probably also repair my utensils here. Obsidian pistol is falling apart. So is the Kolo Horn bow. So we're gonna use it. In the meat space, my host is something of a night owl, but in this game, going to sleep or working nights is not very good for your health. For many reasons. This is acceptable, I think. Now then, to repair my bow really quick. And we're going to... Do a little sleeping. Good six hours or so. Now that we've opened up a way to get to Enmerker Forest directly, that's going to be our next stop. And from there, we'll pick up some colder weather gear and make our way back to Serzo. I think eventually what I'm going to do is stuff all of my is collect all of my belongings and put them in one place. Although it's rather convenient having a small home like this one, just about everywhere. Flint and steel is required, of course it fucking is. Why am I not surprised? Let's gather all of my ingredients here and see what can be transformed into potions and food. Oh, this was a terrible idea. This too was a terrible idea. All right. This is not a terrible idea. Let's look through here. What can we craft today, chat? Did I always have this many gold lich mechanisms? I got like five. project. This is where the rest of my bullets came. Hey, Soul, thank you for the head pats. How are you doing tonight? What you up to? Don't you usually work at this hour? Well, I'm glad you're here anyway. It's always nice. You have today off as well? Very nice. Well, thank you for taking the time to visit. Really appreciate that. Oh, baby, we can make nerve gas. We're going to do a war crime. <laughs> We're unironically un 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 going to do a war crime. <laughs> I can't move. I have too much garbage, apparently. Oh, shit, that's why. Why? How am I still actually carrying too much garbage? I 
Okay. <laughs> Can I just say I love how form-fitting this armor is? I love it. I'm not even that rogue that roguish of a character. This is very important. Need more water. Just making all the teas today. I need to start drinking tea again in the meat space world as well. I do miss it. Blessed potions, huh? Actually, I want to be careful on that because I'm fairly sure that I need my so certain materials to make my claymore here that I wanted to make. The clockwork claymore, I call it, even though it's not really clockwork. The gold ledge claymore. I need an iron claymore, chat. I need all I, that's all I need to make this baby. So I cannot make a blessed potion just yet. Although a blessed potion would be quite good as well. But I can always get more fireflies later. How can I help you? Does anyone in this town sell this? It would be much appreciated. I know I bought one earlier. And that was for what a different reason, but for you? an iron sword. Ah! Here is what we needed. An iron claymore. Gonna sell some of my excess junk here to pay for it really quick. How about a couple fire stones, my good sir? Oh my god. Just one? I'm gonna pay you. I'm gonna pay you, um... I'm gonna pay you a single seaweed to fuck off. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, and with that, let us craft this badass sword using two of these golden mechanisms. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my new favorite weapon, and I know I just made one earlier, but check this shit out. Now that is an advanced dildo. It just screams, I will fuck your shit up. I do not regret going two-handed style, but I will... I'm not proud enough to... Not too, not so proud that I won't switch to sword and shield if necessary. But look at this. 41 damage. 31 slashing. 10 lightning. It's pretty much a blessed weapon, more or less. 39 impact. As compared to my other sword, which is not here right now. But yes, it is beautiful. Worth every dead lightning based bird that I had to kill. And many I did kill. This weapon should, in theory, be especially powerful against horrors. And I kind of have a bone to pick with those guys. So we will go a hunting for them in due time. This increases your ethereal damage and resistances. And this increases your decay damage. So I can make those. Can make some good old needle tea. You have 13,000 points. <laughs> you gonna use them? Mm 
Let's take a look at our quest really fast before I decide where to go next. I suppose they will find more ghosts around there in some time. We need to go to Levant to deliver a business ledger. Some crystal powder down in Scherzo. Some Scherzo Ceviche for the master. Later I'll have to find some time to make a set of copal armor. Or a Sar and a Tenebrous armor, if I could find those. Or you got some blue sand. I'm not sure if I care for Palladium that much. And I want to be able to defeat the uh, Wendigo that's living in the Red Faces in Enricur. Shefiasu is looking for a Manticore Tail. Do I have one? Oh, thank you for the bitty bits, Pastel. Much appreciated. <laughs> Beast Golem Scraps for the Kezite Assassin. Once again, these are both in Berg. And I'm pretty sure that I now have what they're asking for in Berg, right? No? I guess not. Hmm. We're going to sell what possessions we don't need. And we're going to head back to Kikopa there really quick. This Pathfire Claymore did 39 damage. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you for the head pads. All right then. Uh, I don't need two sets of ash armor. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this as well. And since I already made a br used the brutal axe to make a tyrannosaur axe, I don't need another brutal axe. So we'll get rid of this. We're gonna sell the old legion shield. Don't need that. We're going to sell the Bright Nobleman attire as well, because we don't need that. Okay. What's in here? Need the Iron Sword to make another weapon. Uh, going to keep that, going to keep that, going to keep that. Going to keep this as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're good. Let me make my sales. My, uh... Me, let me make my, um... Sales really quick. And we'll get going, chap. We'll get back on the road. For high adventure! Do, 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 do. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? Many things, my good sir. You can do many things for me. I'm tempted to buy this Palladium Max, but it's worse than my current ones. <laughs> Silver weaponry. Gold Edge Maze, Gold Edge Shield, Gold Edge Spear, Gold Edge Sword. Hmm. Actually, I'm curious now. So I made the Claymore. Should I learn how to make the other gold lich items since I have three gold lich, since I have three of these uh, gold lich mechanisms still? I really wish you can teach me how to make a gold lich axe, and then I would consider it. But I'm curious about the shield, to be honest. I'd use these other, other things, but the shield might be a nice uh, addition to my collection. Alright, so I learned how to make the gold lit shield, which requires... Hmm. 
It actually does 18 lightning damage. God dang it's PNG lulls. Yes it is, my good sir. All right. Uh, good death. <laughs> it looks like uh, making this is actually fairly simple. I just need to get one thing of firefly powder from the alchemist downstairs. And also, I just need to buy a cheap shield, which is for 20 silver. So fairly easy to do. Is there something you need? Are you not selling any firefly powder right now? Really? I guess I would have to go outside after all, huh? I need to go out and touch grass if I want to make this goldless shield. You know what? That can wait. I do get distracted in this game so easily. Let me check my rations, and we'll go ahead and head to Berg proper. Thirteen rations. That should last us. The one thing I can't throw stuff at, Sag. Yeah, unfortunately. I haven't set up um, the other program for throwing stuff at PNGs just yet. I will eventually, though, when I make remember to make time for it. <laughs> VTuber lulls will return, of course, on Friday. So no worries. You don't need to wait too long. All right. Let's review. Why are we heading back to Berg? We don't have a Manticore tail yet. But we are going to go to Berg to see if we can face down... If we can complete the Red Idol. But before that, we're going to complete the major main quest over there. We're going to confront Jaeger Sullivan in the city of Berg first, however. So yeah, that's our plan tomorrow. I will need to choose my weapons wisely. Bright and early tomorrow morning, chat. Now, if I was being smart and did not and didn't just go to sleep just then, I could have totally just prepared my things the night before, so we can leave at first dawn. But unfortunately, I am just as impatient in game as I am in real life. All right then. Which backpack are we going to use? Since we're going to be, I'm expecting combat. We will be bringing the brass wolf backpack again since it gives us some points to our armor rating we are going to be bring we are going to be using two-handed style over there but i will be bringing my axe and shield as a backup What am I doing? I should keep these here. Okay. Alright. So then. Let's go ahead and set our skills first. Our sword. And we're going to set a skill to this slot really quick. That skill will be Pommel Counter. For this one, we are going to set... Hmm. 
Actually, what should I set for this one? Brace? Yeah. We'll need to keep these at the ready so I can counterattack. Skill. We're going to go ahead and use... Put Flash on slot there. So I have easy access to that. Going to set number two here to... Fire gun. We're going to set three... To cannon pistol. I'm gonna set this one to other pistol. Or other pistol. And we're gonna set five to sniper shot. Alright. Now to decide what weapons will come with us. Since we're going to be using the gold claymore, well, we're going to be bringing the mining pick with us, for sure. My trusty bow, as well. Going to be bringing the Tyrannosaur Axe as a backup weapon. Always need to bring the Coil Lantern with me. An Astral Potion and Discipline Potion for drinking. All my life potions. Water. Some rags with poison. Teas are always important to bring with us. Bandages. Marshmallows shouldn't get spoiled anytime soon, but you never know. I need to bring all those rations with me as well. Always need to have flint and tinder. What do you even need to make the Assassin Tongue? Assassin Sword. A Steel Saber. Palladium Scrap. Mm. Okay. I'm pretty sure I left the Saber back in... Levant. And we're not planning on going to Levant anytime soon this trip. So, we'll leave that stuff for there for now. Bring our money with us always in the salt. And bring some fire stones in case I need to cast any sigils of fire. I'm not sure if we need a cold stone, honestly. I don't have any pressure plate traps. And I won't be able to buy it, get any of this until we go to Levant next, which will be later. Could always use some fungal cleanser with us. Actually, you know, keep the fungal cleanser here because that's for poison. The master trade boots are quite light. I actually want to bring these with me too, just in case, so that when it's time for me to like start running around, these will make me move a lot faster. They're basically running shoes. It's good to basically think of them as what are essentially running shoes, you know? That's for being a mage. Alright, let's see what we can bring in here. It's going to be much colder in Enricur, but I'm fairly sure my ash clothing can handle that just fine. I'll go ahead and bring the Crimson Shield with me. As far as my defense get up. I will not be needing the clay these claymores for now. I'll get them I'll go back and get them later. I should probably bring at least some of these antidotes, right? Just in case.
hex cleaner for removing hexes. A bread of the wild will be useful. Some alpha sam around two alpha sandwiches will be okay. These grilled marshmallows are about to spoil. I can eat one of them. And I always need to remember to bring a tent, since I seem to be notorious for forgetting those. I think someone wanted beast glim scraps, right? Let me see here. Two beast glim scraps. Well, I just have one right now. Unfortunately. Definitely gonna need to bring these with me. And my bullets. Always need to bring the bullets. This is good for the common cold. It also restores mana, which I've been making more use of lately. This is both filling and very good for stamina. Need to bring all my gold with me as well. Alright. I think we are good to go, chat. Even then, I can't help but feel like this may be too much. Let's go ahead and load these all with shotgun shells really quick. Cool. Very pog, even. Bag is overweight now because of the sheer amount of junk I have in there. I will keep the axe in my pocket. There we go. That should work. That works just fine, in fact. But out of the way, I think we are now ready to make our way back to Enmerkfor Forest. That's a mood. I do need spikes. Let's make some more bandages as well. And we do need to have arrows, don't we? Do we have enough arrows? I'm surprised I didn't see any arrows here when I was looking through my inventory. Did I use them all up already? Wow. I don't have any arrows left. <laughs> I imagine that. Of course, we will be getting more arrows in due course. That's just the way this game is. It's more often than not, I have too many arrows. You can never have enough to enough arrows, I guess. All right. 21 arrows. I'm sure I'll find more later. It's no big deal. I still can't believe I actually used them all up though. And just like that. One last thing. 
I should probably bring a cooking pot with me this time. Since I seem to have a penchant for forgetting to do just that. And it always leads to problems. Always, without like fail. And that put my bag over the limit, chat. I know when I fill this up with water, it's going to do that as well. It's a sheer map preparation you have to do in this game sometimes, you know? There are ways to save up, save though. Is there not something you need? Give me your gold. Ha! Ah, much better. Alright then. That's wasting daylight. It's 7 in the morning. It's time for us to head back to Berg. Let's eat some food. Alright chat, so here's our plan. We're here. We need to get over here. Somehow. We're gonna be hold up, hogging our left. Sticking close to the eastern side of the map. Make it a spiral light and then find a way around the spiral lights to the land bridge which will take us to our destination. There's dumb bandits are probably still there which means I'll have to take them out. It'll be much easier to do in my current state. Much easier. I've also learned that generally sprinting everywhere is what burns up my stamina super quick. So you will have to regular walk to most locations and save sprinting for when we have to flee or to fight. With not that much overcast, it actually looks quite nice here, wouldn't you say? I wonder if the dinosaurs would respawn by now. Well, here's one. So I guess the answer is probably not. Not gonna lie. I'm really excited to try out this new sword on someone or something. More fireflies, chat. Hmm. And marshmallows, no less. Here's our destination. Bones everywhere. Dinosaur stuck in a giant crystal looks even more like a dinosaur in the daytime.
Akari Ku, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I hope you have a great rest of your morning or day. I'm going to guess it's daytime over there. You're in the Philippines, right? <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I'm using a PNG today, though, because that my 3D model doesn't work very well with this game. Maganda mm -hmm. maga. I'll be streaming again on Friday at the same hours. Except I'll be streaming an FPS game called Deus Ex then. And I'll actually be able to use my 3D model then as well. Presuming my PC doesn't freeze up again. It's so calm outside here. Some more traps? Why don't mind if I do? Gonna go ahead and pick up some fireflies here as well. Thank you. Hmm, some salt to mine. Bag is currently overweight, but thankfully not by much. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Ah, uh, dinosaur is looking at me kind of funny. I don't feel like fighting him right now, though. Let's get, let's get at it. Oh, well, what do we have here? Sorbori, uh, Sorborian Cavener. They sure seem to like to pop up when it's most convenient, don't they? Greetings, friend. Yes. You can actually take me to Berg for 200 silver. Which would be awfully convenient right now. I don't need to fuck around with taking the long route. Farewell, my friend. Let's see what you got for sale this time. A very fancy chakram, a frozen chakram. 2,000 silver, inflicts vulnerability to all non-physical elements on enemies. Two cheap guns, master trader garb for 20, blaze it. <laughs> Another giant iron key, master trader boots, a large emeralds, and some putin. I am tempted, let me tell you. Instead, why don't I give you a counter offer, huh? Actually, I don't have anything to sell you right now. I suppose if I killed the dinosaur over there, I could sell their parts to you. But I'd probably take some damage in the process. Instead, I will sell some of my gold. And... No, actually, you know what? I went through the trouble of opening that... Gateway to Enmerker, I think I will Greetings, do it the hard way friend. instead of traveling yes. with you. Farewell, my friend. I'm really tempted to get this Master Trader's Scarf for 420, though. That's only about four bars of gold, so I can certainly afford it. The only reason I'm not spending my money so far right now is because I actually need that to pay for new skills. This will be great for running, though. Choices, choices, choices. Eh. This is the proc. This is the equivalent of three thousand five hundred 
silver pieces, chat. Should be able to buy... Yeah, I can afford it. We should be fine, I tell myself. It's fine, it's fine. God, I hope it is. This Chakram looks pretty good too, but I'm fairly sure I have the best Chakram in the game right now. So... I'm not entirely sold on that. Thanks for your patronage. Let's get going. Looks like we got a little loss on our way to Albuquerque. We'll need to realign ourselves. Where are we, chat? That must be the City Giants Village. I think I know where we need to go. So we probably have to go this direction and go around. Because that is not leading to the spire. But this one should, I think. Going underneath these giant tree branches. And before Lulz gets himself lost again. It's fairly easy to do in this game. That is a massive mana stone, chat. I am tempted to go over there. It's possible, but you would need to get over there without dying from the extreme poison. I got three of these. Hope my curiosity doesn't get me killed. Oh. Right as I say that, of course, I fall several meters. It's a good thing I brought my pickaxe with me. I'm actually not sure if it's possible to... Well, I guess this we're doing this now. Wearing the ash armor... It's giving me decent protection against poison. Looks like there's a palladium vein here as well. Ten seconds? That's not that bad. Another palladium vein over there. There's a lot of palladium here, chat. I could probably... Honestly, there's so much palladium here. I could probably craft myself some palladium armor. Which I guess is the point. like the mining pig is starting to fall apart. Won't be able to prepare that here. Wonder how many more uses I got out of this before it fails on me.
fair amount, it looks like. Looks like there's only a couple more. Some Hecamanite, too. Good. Alright, there's just two more here, and then we're good. I don't think we could climb that. Oh! Mining pickaxe is broken. What a crappy weapon this turns out to be, huh? Feels like I got cuckolded not being able to mine all the palladium scrap in due course. <laughs> Let's wait a bit, chat. This detour wasn't as bad as I thought, but I do need to get over there to the spire. I wonder how close I am to it, though. Or far, as it were. If I had to guess... Let me see here. From the direction I'm facing... Hey, Ascroth. I'm doing fine tonight. How are you tonight? Thanks for coming to the stream. <laughs> if that's the city of Monsoon, and that's a spire, I must be... Ah! I know where I am, chat. I'm over here. So... If I were to cross the dirty river, or dirty uh, lake, I should be able to get over here, and I should be able to go this way to the thing. Theoretically, anyway. Tally ho! Let's thank goodness for this ash armor. Otherwise, we would not be able to make the trip without dying from poison. I think we made it, chat. I'm losing considerable uh, health, though. There's a little bit of thunder and lightning still going on over here. Hopefully, that will not result in my computer having to shut down uh, out of nowhere, but you never know sometimes. So I apologize in advance if that ends up being the case. This is a hell of a detour I'm taking, let me tell you. An Astral Potion, Rage Potion, and a Plant Tent. Some good hauls here, actually. I think I'm a little bit overburdened, though. Alright. There's a broken uh, bridge over there. Now I am curious if I'll be able to even make it there without... That's a hell of a walk through rancid water. I guess if I don't get ganked by any monsters, I should be able to make it. Emphasis on should, though. I'm fine, thanks. Playing some Dragon Quest XI, how goes your journey outward? Um, it goes pretty well. Uh, basically, I found... I love one second. I need to not die from being poisoned to death here. Okay, okay. Okay, as I was saying, I basically went back to town, decided what's, what things I wanted to bring with me, and have found... And I'm going to be heading to Enmerker Forest to continue the main questline. 
and to also get some errands done. And then from there, I'm gonna head back to Sir, head back to Serzo maybe, and do so and get another job class. I'm fairly so I did some research before I continued today's stream to see what kind of things out what kind of what my what kind of skill combinations there are and I think I have an idea of what I'd like to do now hey Millie how you doing it's it's going well how are you doing tonight welcome to the stream continuing the ever the continuing the misadventures of lulz in the world of outward as usual we have made decent progress and we will make additional progress in due course Right now, I need to get over there to that bridge. Oh, and not poison myself to death again. You're doing alright? Glad I'm doing well? Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you are also doing well. <laughs> I need to remember how to get from here to there. Because I did it once. I did it once and I got stuck because... LOL Energy Shield in a way. My mining pick's also fucked, so we won't be able to rely on that this time. Do you like my new sword, by the way? Always finding new weapons to use. This one looks even pretty lovely, not gonna lie. And that sun as well. <laughs> Fancy indeed. Alright, so inside this building, there's a door that leads to over there, I'm fairly certain. So I think I've been, here, I've been in that direction before. I think I killed everyone inside here already, so I shouldn't need to worry about any trouble. Emphasis on should. What's up, Death? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you think I'm awesome. Everything is awesome. When you work with a team and all that good stuff. Now then. Where is the exit to this place? One of these doors. One of these doors. I'm gonna sprint. Fuck it. Also, I found out what the legacy tre tre what the legacy chest up there actually does. It allows you to put one of these items in there, and then you can use it in a different save. Because it gets set, given passed down to your ancestor. It's kind of a cool feature. I haven't seen something like that in a video game in a while. You have eight, I have 828 points, so let me do some math. Wait, you don't have the third redeems. Yeah, the third redeems are off right now. Because they don't work on my PNG tuber. So you get to save those redeems for later. Like Friday. <laughs> I need to remember how to do this, though. Hey, Winter. How you doing today? Uh, no dinosaurs right now, unfortunately. I think I've pretty much genocided all of them. Went all prehistoric age all up in this. All up in this bitch. <laughs> Instead, we're going to be continuing the main quest line. Or at least one of the quest lines, I should say. Once I learn how to get to that other side of this building. I think the redeem is around 150. 
Doing well today also, but the dinosaurs? The dinosaurs will respawn as soon as I leave this, uh, air to leave the marshlands, so don't worry. There will be plenty of dinosaurs to fight when I return. Now I get to kill them all over again. Extinction phase two. That's right. That's right. But first, I need to figure out how to get out of this building and up here on the other side. You can redeem the throw five times. <laughs> I shall keep that in mind for next, for this coming Friday. So yeah, chat, that's what this legacy chest is for. You actually can put one of these things here and it'll show up in another game, in another, in another playthrough. So if I were to say, put this here. Okay. Um, hmm. Well. That is awkward. Big fleshy things exist, lols, and I took that personally. And <laughs> you took what personally? <laughs> what did you take personally? But yeah, if I put this here, I can get it back next time. Next game. <laughs> they do be doing a thundering outside, don't they? Ah, I was, it was actually that simple. Okay. Their existence? <laughs> oh, there's a colon there. Okay. Misunderstood it the first time. My bad. <laughs> I understand what you mean now. Hey, look, there's some big mechanical lightning dinosaur things there that I'll have to fight. However, since they're lightning based, that means that they're not going to take as much damage from my... from my... lightning sword as I would prefer. We are, of course, going to prepare ourselves for battle. Also, did you know that with the sigil of fire, I can shoot stuff? From far away want to see what happens when I do let's go ahead and use up all of our you can't do this now Oh man, that lightning blast in real life was pretty close. It's actually kind of scary outside right now. Not gonna lie. Alright, so let's go ahead and try out one of these spells, shall we? Uh, mana push. Let's use... Okay, mana push doesn't do anything with this form. Let's instead use spark. Oh, it actually does fire a flamethrower of sorts. Unfortunately, it looks like the enemies are currently out of out of range, so we will need to draw them over here. I much prefer to fight the big one on its own because the smaller one is fairly difficult to fight um, with support. Looks like my sigil of fire ran out.
Let's set up some traps really quick. Uh, where are my traps? Oh, there they are. Bro, I had dang the slow lightning. I know, right? Wait, you heard it through my mic just now? Yikes. I didn't think it was possible it was possible for that to happen, but there you have it. You could literally hear the lightning, the uh, thunder through my mic from out from outside in my room. But yeah, it is pretty nasty out there right now. I didn't realize the sigil of fire lasts such a short time, though. Like, a really short time. Alright then. It is time to fight. Wait. Come on. Equip the... Okay. Uh, where are you, buddy? Oh, I missed. That's just glorious. You know what? That's just great. That one did not miss, though. Yes, that's right. Come in this direction. Come on. All is well at Zenzel, right, chat? Unfortunately, I won't be able to use this trick on the other one because the other one, um, uh, fires a laser beam cannon at you. So we will need to instead get an up close and personal. Nothing personnel, kid. I have another problem with it, with fighting this creature, actually. I don't have any of my skills loaded for using sword and shield style, except for one. We will, of course, rectify this right now. And sign the quick slot. We're going to sign the ankle cutter. Chat, he appears to be, the uh, dinosaur appears to be fighting some bandits right now. Oh, hi, yo. How you doing, Aislin? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the stream. Lols chose violence. Yes, I did. Well, I kind of cheese at one dinosaur, and as you can see, the other raptor over here is currently in having battle with two bandits. Normally, I would give it to the Raptor, but it looks like they're being double teamed fairly, fairly hard right now. And the Raptor is down, chat. I'm going to... And to think, I switched out to my Claymore weapon just to fight them. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and pick these guys off really quick. Holy shit. Did I just get taken out again? I don't know what the fuck happened. I guess the mage exploded in my face. And then I got hit in the back by the other guy. That kind of pisses me off. It took a while to get over there too. Maybe I should have just taken a ridden with the caravanners, huh? Where's my hex cleaner? Alright. Yeah, I kind of, that actually kind of angers me now. I mean, okay, it was dark and everything, but just the 
how quickly I died without even realizing what was happening was kind of sus. Was very, that was actually very annoying, I'm not gonna lie. This time, we're not gonna fuck around because I want to get to Bird post haste before we waste any more time here, chat. First, though. Alright. We're just gonna run, run, run all the way there. Why didn't I pack any endurance potions? One second. Let me get the endurance potions from my other backpack. And then we're just going to run all the way over there. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Restore burn health. Bandage myself up. Drink some water. Refill free water. Take some mana potions. Thank you. Bring a lot more antidotes. Because we're not fucking around, chat. Bring one of these with us. Bring one of these with us. I should probably bring the weather defense potions with us, too. Eat some food. Bring the beast golem scraps. Alright. Am I carrying too much stuff again? <laughs> Shit. I always do this. It's always... It's too easy to overpack in this game, I swear to god. I didn't even get to loot the gold lich mechanism off that guy. Off the uh, creature. But I guess I do need to dump these again. Do I need to... Nah. Okay. Motivation indeed. I'm real motivated now. Every time I like relax and think I can just wander around in this game, just stroll, do a little strolling. Some, the game punches me in the fucking face, and it's just mean as shit, dude. Also, how come I didn't prepare my mining pick? Fuck.
I hope this works. I hope I can repair my mining pick too. So I know they're scattered all over the game. I just don't feel like getting a new one right now. Hey, it did repair. Not by much, but it was something, right? Anyway, this time I say fuck it, we're just going to sprint. That's right. The game did a lot of trolling in my case. All my food's starting to spoil. At this rate, I won't have any food left. Eggs are good for you. And in this game, they give you stupid amounts of stamina. Like, stupid amounts of stamina. This lasts for three minutes. Alright. Let's get to back to Inmerker Forest, chat. This time, no distractions. We're going straight there. We're gonna sprint all the way fucking there. We're gonna do- we're gonna marathon run this bitch. Straight up marathon. What a beautiful morning. I swear to god, if I get ganked again by fucking bandits, I'm gonna... Morb. I'm just gonna fucking mor straight up morb. You better believe it. Great, the dinosaurs will respawn, chat. Yes, that's just what I need is today. Fucking dinosaurs. How do they work? It's in my path. Pretty big one, too. We need to get in some practice anyway. So yeah, that happened. Also, I'm bleeding to death right now because they caused- gave me extreme bleeding. Bastard. Normally, I would loot all this. In fact, I still will. But... So I can sell it in town. But at the same time, it's like... This is just gonna slow me down. Make us up some stew, and we're gonna eat the stew, and we're gonna like it. You should never pass up a time to consume your enemies. Make them a part of you. Well, that was 
that was filling. All right, let's continue our journey. The bands are probably still going to be there. I'm not going to take any chances this time. I'm going to put a couple arrows in their heads. Honestly, I just have to kill the mage. And then I can take out the other guy fairly easily. This is a game that's based chiefly around taking your time. You would think this would be this game would be bad for me, since I'm rather impatient. But no. I feel that's more satisfying, actually. Am I thirsty? Looks like it. I just remembered why I don't typically like going this route. Usually there's a bunch of bandits and or dinosaurs in this area. Blocking at one entrance over there. Not that I don't relish to the chance to eat their flesh and loot their corpses, but I'm kinda wanna I kind of want to, you know, get to Enmerker. There's another dinosaur right there. There's actually Oh, shit. There's quite a few dinosaurs over here right now, chat. Van Ziggurat. It would appear that I made a wrong turn somewhere. I'm over here in Ancient Ruins. I need to be over here. And if we walk, go past the Van Ziggurat, we could get across this land bridge and keep going to the east. Um... Oh, it appears that one of the dinosaurs is engaged in battle with another dinosaur, so while they are distracted, we will continue on our way. I must resist the temptation to go over there and loot the corpse of whoever the victor is. In fact, the dinosaur is not even fighting a dinosaur. They're fighting in a robot. A robot that uses floating swords in battle. Brace your bets now, chat. Who will come out the victor in this... Mortal combat. Honestly, it looks like it looks like it's getting pretty close. Yeah, there's no way to tell. Oh, this other dinosaur was over here. It's walking up behind me, but it appears to be non-hostile at the moment. It's backing away instead of coming towards me. Oh, rip and kill. It appears that they were the victor after all. Huh. Thank you for the easy win, Blade Dancer. Jade Acolyte Boots. Oh, game, you're spoiling me. Another fight the floor with a Phytosaur Horn. And some Crimp Nuts. And seeds. And some oil, too. Oh. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I don't... I don't want to fight you right now. Oh, come on! Shit. So much for... Alright, it looks like I was able to escape. Let me just mine this rich iron vein really quick, and we'll continue. Okay, so we should be over here, chat. We should probably be heading south. And then we'll go across that bridge over there. That wasn't too bad, was it? I'm really easy to distract, aren't I? 
I'm also almost out of arrows. So I need to construct more later anyway. Hi, yo. It appears I found a land bridge. I think. I could really use a Livy Weed just now. But I would have to drop down here, and getting back on the bridge will be a pain in the ass without crossing the uh, rancid water. Ugh. Alright, no, no. We need to keep going. Man, really? I, maybe I really do have ADD. Spikes and bullets. Thank you. Of all the times to leave my Jade Acolyte stuff. I'll just have to put it in my... I'll just have to store it in my bag up there, I guess. And by up there, I mean back in Enricur. There is a freaking lightning storm going crazy outside right now, chat. It is flashing every few seconds. Kind of fog, kind of wild. Drink a sippy sip of water. Eat some cooked meat. Did I bring any of my alpha sandwiches with me? I brought a couple. Continue our longest journey. I promise you we will make it to Enricker Forest this time. We do have some quest lines to complete. Some people to save. Some bodies to loot and asses to kick and dinosaurs to avoid. Oh, what fresh hell is this? How come I feel like I'm no nowhere close? I'm not anywhere any closer to the Spire of Light. But we are exploring a lot of new areas. Is that a... What's this? A Stegosaurus Barrow? Oh, it appears I have found their rest or a nest. I'll need to come back here later and exterminate them, chat. Mark this on our map somewhere. It's somewhere in this general location. Whew. It's got some iron veins here and a couple more automatons. Question is, how do I get down from here without eating myself off a cliff? That's the funny thing, you don't. If we do this carefully, I can take minimal damage. Ha! Huh. What about them map? How about that? Oh, shit, I just wasted that, but okay. I do believe the automatons are walking through the rotten water just fine since they do not have any biological components and therefore cannot get sick. We will instead take the time to shoot them from above. Justice reigns from above. Did that even hit?
Uh, stop moving, for fuck's sake. It's been a while since I've said had to say something to the effect of I did not bring enough arrows to deal with this bullshit. Oh, you piece of shit. Okay, fine. You know what? Oh, Chad, I'm gonna be sad if I actually can't pull this off. No, what? You know, no, no, no. Why play fair? Why fucking play fair? At this point in the game, chat. I'm waiting way too long to. Oh, you can actually get up here. Did you just kill yourself? How? Huh. Or did you perhaps die from the fire? Well, whichever. Let's see if we can cheese the other one, chat. Because the other one is a lot more difficult to fight, let me tell you. Remember what I said? This game allows you to do some very cheap things. But then, as you play the game, you realize they're not cheap at all. Because the game will also use cheap things against you. And if you do not cheese the game, the game will cheese you first. So don't feel bad about doing whatever it takes to win. I'm out of shards, so I can't make any more shotgun shells. There we go. Let's loot your body for important things. Hmm. A stone flesh elixir. Very good. This armor really isn't that great. Eight impact resistance? Barely any slashing resistance? No wonder I died so quick. We'll do something about that later. And meanwhile, let's get to Enmerker Forest. After we make some more arrows. Can I make any arrows? Six of them. Eight of them. Oh, well, they'll have to do. Alright, we're back here again, chat. You know what? I have half a mind to become a spellblade just so I can spite those stupid ice bandits. Be like, oh, you want to use an ice spell on me, don't you? Here, why don't I just block your ice spell, take it, and shoot it back at you? How about that? Only problem is that requires a shield. If I'm serious about using two handed style, well, that's not gonna work, obviously.
Those bastard bandits are around here somewhere, I just know it. There they are, just in time. No, don't hide behind a fucking... Thank you for the hydrate redeems. Let me do that now. Before any tomfoolery occurs. My god, are you trying to drown me, even boy? Okay, fine, I'll empty the bottle. You know, usually I think this artesian water natural pH thing is bullshit, but to their credit, all those trace minerals do make it taste better than normal water. Get moist, become plant. I'll show you a plant. A most vegetable growth, as it were. Bitch ass motherfucker. Why won't you die? Nano machines, lulls. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <sighs> Jesus, I thought she would never bite it. Bitch ass. He only has a mana stone. Alright, I'm gonna fight this guy over here. With uh, honor and duty. And also counterattacks. And also big ass swings like that. And you're dead. Thanks for the stu seal shield. Thanks for the loot, asshole. No! I've been infested. Well, these things aren't going to follow me over to the uh, next world anyway. Consume marshmallow. I bet you anything that it's not. Test it. <laughs> um, not neutral pH. Neutral pH is 7, right? Which is supposed to be what water is? I think... There's this uh, trend going on over here in the States. I don't know if it's worldwide or not. But basically, people are claiming that water that's at a higher pH is supposed to be good for you or something. It doesn't really make any sense to me, but... What do you expect from trends, right? Yep, it's wood. Are one of those Venus flytraps things around here so they can tell the or eat these fireflies and get them off my back? Water is it to see it makes no difference to your health? I didn't think it did. I mean, why would it, right? Yo, is that a... What? I wasn't expecting this. Oh, so there is another smaller ziggurat over there that I can go to. But we've waited way too long, chat. I have been I said we were gonna go to Enmerk Forest and we're gonna go to Enmerk Forest. Sure took us a while to get there though. Well, this is certainly not spooky at all. We are going to Berg. Harder water has more minerals, which naturally makes it denser, which forces hydrogen out, raising the pH. It's possibly better for you since it contains more or something. <laughs> oh, 
Hard water is usually a term used to represent water here that's bad for you, that's like toxic or spoiled. So maybe they just prefer, maybe it really is hardish, hardish water that's just been rebranded as high pH water because her dirt it's good for you or something. Ooh, wool shrooms. Delicious, delicious wool shroom. We made it back to my favorite part of the game, chat. And the forest area. Well, one of my favorite parts. It's certainly nicer to look at than the forest, I'll tell you that much. Uh, these bandits are much easier to kill. At least there aren't any stupid mages amongst them. Why do I keep doing... See, it goes down in only two hits. Not bad. Actually, doesn't this isn't this guy a mage too? It's been a while since I've been here. And you're done. Give me your bandages. Master was a marine agricultural chemist. Oh, really? I thought you would have been something in IT or like in. Uh music production or something or rather I should say your ma I thought I would have assumed I assumed that your master was in one of those fields I would have never guessed uh, a chemist that's very interesting IT software development I see Oh, so you major in a few things. Very good. <laughs> Lost soul. Yeah, fair enough. You seem at home doing what you're doing right now. Or rather, the mas your master seems at home doing what they're doing right now. In my personal opinion. Based off of what little I know about you. Or based off what little I know about them. Also a chef, huh? Very pog. What did they like to... Oh, God. Uh, excuse me for a moment here. What did they like to uh, prepare, I should say? Why is this one so difficult? I have not fought a hyena yet that I could not kill easily. Well, it's dead now, so I guess that's a moot point, but... Master is dead now, only their memories remain in me. And an Olympian. Oh, I see. Sometimes I suspected... If I was actually born in interwebs from the accumulation of memes, or if I'm actually someone else's memories too. But, it is... But I am not quite very fond of uh, uncomfortable existential questions, so I tend to avoid thinking about it whenever possible. Did I seriously just sneak around this particular bandit? Oh, he got smart. Sad. I just realized that this guy is wearing blue sand armor. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? You survived that. I was thinking like, that armor looks familiar. Where have I seen that armor before? Oh right, it's blue sand armor. That's the armor that I crafted. That's extremely heavy. But they're a archer. Why would an archer have such heavy armor? And then this happens and I've been saved by Gep again. Thanks Gep. You're a pal. You know that? Eh, I guess I can't complain. It could have been much worse. 
Except I always get lost when this happens, and I don't know how to get back to... Oh, for f crying out loud. I'm over here. I need to be there, chat. Looks like it's still the same day, though. They really liked confectionery chocolate work and baking. First time in AdWords. Um, I've been streaming this game for a couple months now, actually. A few months. But this is my first playthrough, yes. <laughs> this many sessions in, and I still do a lot of stupid... I do a lot of really stupid... Uh, make a lot of stupid choices. That's just me, I guess. Wait. Berg, city of Berg is this way. Why am I going southward? Let's drink some water and eat the last of my stew before it spoils. I have not played with anyone else yet. I would love to change that sometime in the future. If I do, though, it's going to be with the uh, new definitive version because I'm still running the uh, older version. That's how long I've been playing this particular save. Good uh, 70 hours or so, maybe. Isn't that the city of Berg right there? Wait, no. There's the... Cabal... Okay. But I would love to... I've been telling a lot of people about this game. Um, it has been the game that people consistently come to watch me play since I play it the most consistently. So I would eventually like to try playing this game in coop with someone one of these days. But maybe later. Chad, I have a bad feeling that those are not... No, that's not the city of Berg. I'm lost again. On the bright side, the creatures that live here are far less dangerous than the ones that live in the marsh. I say that even though, even with the knowledge of that, ghosts can fuck me up if I'm not careful. But he doesn't seem to notice me right now, so... Oh, a scholar circlet. So I think I'll be okay. Do you know how to open the game to others yet? Ads attacked. Oh. <laughs> uh, what was the last thing that you heard me say before the ads attacked? Sorry about that. I was talking about earlier about how I've been playing this game for a few months now. But I've never played it with other people yet. I would like to, but I'm still running the save before the definitive edition. So, if I want to play with other people, I'll have to play open up the uh, definitive version. Which would be kind of... Um, it would not be not so much impractical, but kind of uh, inconvenient to do right now. Oh, there's a crypt here. I love how I always find new things to do in this game. Open the pause menu. Start split. Is it this one? Or open game to friends? Really? That's cool. Is this one the Lonely Tower? So you go to... Huh. Interesting. It's a lot simpler than I thought then. Thank you very much. <laughs> For right now though, I'm actually interested in completing this playthrough. So maybe later. And... I fucking hate this sometimes. It's probably in this direction.
Then those who put in the code can join. Even randoms if you want to let them. I see. I see, I see. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I didn't even know that you could have elemental arrows in this game. That would be fairly useful. I see. I mean, I appreciate the offer, but I'd much rather... If I wanted to play a game with, like, other people, I would have just done that from the beginning. So, for right now, I'd actually much prefer exploring this game, at least, on my own. I've had a lot of good times and bad times with this run through, so with this playthrough so far. Well, that's the thing. Um, I, part of the reason I like this game is the fact that it is punishing. <laughs> Every time I so much as take my mind off it for a little bit and like relax, like right now even with me not paying attention to where I'm going and just going in the general direction of Berg is a possibility that I might get attacked by something or someone running around. And I actually don't mind that at all. I keep telling people that playing this game is sort of like playing Skyrim except with a shit ton of immersion and difficulty and survival mods to make the game actually difficult to play instead of a hero simulator. And that's what I like best about this game. I feel like if this game were any less difficult, it would risk being just yet another action RPG. <laughs> in any case, I ended up making it to my destination regardless, even though I still got beat the fuck out by that one bandit who just happened to be wearing what looks sort of like blue sand armor. No problem, thank you for visiting. And have a great night. It's been a while since I've been back here. 
I say it every time I get back to another town, but it always feels this feels that way. It truly is takes truly is a journey to go from one place to the next. What was I doing here? I need to drink some water. And go find this per go find and interrogate this person. Where's the town well again? Somewhere around here, right? We're gonna wear thicker armor too when we before we deal with this person. Just in case. Do I not have all the pieces of the... Oh, come on. Huh. I don't have all my wooden armor here. And what I do, what armor I do have appears to be falling apart. I guess that's my fault for being sloppy. In that case, we'll have to improvise. I'm gonna wear the elite set. Which is fairly heavy on its own. Or at least better, I should say. As it has lower stamina analysis. Hey Leek, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna sell these parts here because I don't actually need them. How can I help you? How can I help you? <laughs> Why do you have so many pistols in sale now? Where do we find this guy now? Sutherland, Roland, Teleron. Confront Jaeger Sullivan in the city of Berg in the Enmerker Force. Where's Jaeger Sullivan? I wonder if he's inside the. He might be inside the chamber. Man, I run fast.
Where is this guy? Is that Mr. Sullivan right there? That's Cyril Turnbull. Where is Yeager Sullivan? How can I help you? This guy teaches you more magic spells. How can I help you? If I have to fight you, what? <laughs> Not happening. Someone's about to get it. Only a hundred silver. Three pieces of Hecmanite? I don't think so. What can I do for you? Here's what I need. Fifty silver and a high capacity backpack, huh? Listen. So many people want me to just betray or just like pull a bullshit betrayal move in this game. I'm assuming that I could talk to, I can warn someone else even of this, aside from Cyril, but who else can I warn? That guy is a Sorborian too. Shouldn't I go talk to a chamber lord about this? And it's not like I don't already have a bunch of high, high capacity backpacks. I don't really need another. I'm curious though, how many people, how many options do I have to talk to people anyway?
I don't see Arissa anywhere. What could I do for you? I should look this up really quick. Just to make sure that I have all possible options, have tried all possible options in this game. Give me a second, chat. For members of all factions except Sorbor Academy, make your way to Bergen and Mirko Forest. For Sorbor Academy members, make your way to Hermaten. At this point, you can choose who you would like to hand evidence to. The outcome of your success is determined by who you choose. So it does change depending on who you decide to go with. these people are they just sort of floating around town do I have to go find them oh boy. what mark dude a change though so I don't see them around here that's an interesting armor I thought it was strange that only one person seems to be in the in the council chamber at all but then where is it one Downstairs.
Oh, you guys respawn too? Shit. I wasn't expecting that. Still got both of you though. Assholes. That's good though. I wasn't expecting that. A second time, you know. Honestly. I guess getting Flash Onslaught wasn't such a bad deal. One person inside the blue in the council chamber, though. Asha. Thanks for redeeming that. Let me get you an RR redeem. Need to make my voice nice and seductive. Ara, Ara. How are you doing this morning? Welcome to the stream. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out how to finish this quest because it's supposed to have multiple endings. But you need to speak to certain people to do that. <laughs> You're doing well? Glad to hear it. <laughs> Glad to hear it. find this character. They're probably around and I just didn't look. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. A little bit sleepy. It has certainly been... A week, I would say. But I'm here now. I'm glad to get to spend time with all y'all. At the moment, though, I'm just trying to figure out how to complete this quest because it's supposed to have multiple endings, and I've only found two people I could speak with so far. I can't believe it's August already. I'm going to go. I'm going to be going to a convention in about a good month from now. So that's exciting. It's going to be weird a little bit. Taking a week off from streaming, but I'm kind of worried about getting burnt out anyway. So maybe it'd be good for me to do so. Hey there. Need something? Hey there. I 
feel like I only used the Beast Golem Axe once in this whole game. What can I do? Listen! Mason Fusion. Is Rissa Aberdeen just kind of chilling around in Times Square still? Curious. Probably also turn off my flashlight, huh? Usually she's over here. Where is she now? It's not like she died or anything recently. I think she's outside of the building itself. <sighs> I'm tempted to just give it to a guy if I don't find Rissa soon. Let me look this up again. One second, chat. power testing huh. my UPS just activated for a second there looks like it just blinked there so we might be still good notes Rissa may be at the burned outpost if you did not finish your faction quest yet after the attack on Berg okay so they're at the burned outpost I see. I don't know how the hell I was supposed to know that, though. If I didn't look it up in the wiki, I would have never known that she was down there. But now that I know, let's go ahead and pay her a quick visit. At least I don't need to fight anyone this time. We're gonna actually make our run down there even faster by equipping the appropriate war gear. Hell yeah! That's much better. Presuming we don't have to fight anything, it should be just fine. Perhaps it's maybe a little bit much, much of a presumption, but we will see. Because this will not protect me at all. <laughs> I like the extra movement speed though. And I like the fact that I can carry 20 things in my pockets now. 
All right. To the burning tree it is. Why am I getting tired so early this time? How strange. Huge burning tree. Straight south. I guess if I am decent with my counter skills, I don't need to worry so much about having low armor. Still, it's hard not to be paranoid in this game. Because being paranoid in this game is how you, just not, how you not die in this game. Right between the eyes. Only four arrows left. This bastard will not stop running around. <sighs> Too easy, and I just wasted that. Oops. Thanks for your free stuff, though. What the? fucking dumb. I could have used that to make my... Well, I only have one gold edge mechanism anyway. I still want to make the shield eventually, right? See what it's like. Firefly powder and one round shield. Well, there's plenty of bandits in this area. I'm sure I'll be able to find more. As we speak, I'm probably going to run into one, like, in a few seconds. Have I ever traveled along that bridge? I don't recall it. And speak of the devil, what do we have here? Fresh meat. Take out the weaker one first.
Just like that. Ow. Sure, just put away the sword. That's totally what I wanted to do. And completely fuck up that... That wasn't so bad, was it? Alright. Gotta heal up, and I need to find some Firefly Powder now. Am I really getting tired? It's not even that late. Only 11.42 in the evening. May is just catching up with me. Many a sleepless night. Gotta say that I love this claymore. Based. Okay, there we go. Having a lot of pouches is sure is helpful. More bandits. Don't want to deal with them right now, though. What I would like is some firefly powder. Hopefully the alchemist can, has, has some. Y'all really pushing my patience today, aren't you? Is that a mage? Yes, it is. That one did not hurt nearly as much. Interesting. I wonder why your attack was different. flame torch perhaps might as well some iron spikes always can use some more some bandages looks like we are good so far in spite of the damage we took we seem to be okay for now. I hope Rissa Aberdeen's down there at the Burning Outpost. There's probably some Burning Men here too, aren't there? Yep. Burning Men and also the Obsidian creature have respawned. It's not good. Really don't want to be killed and sent back home again. I don't think my guns can kill them fast enough. Let's see if Rosa's inside here. 
I wish the game would have given a prompt to let me know that she is here so I didn't have to look it up in a wiki. Yeah, that was close. If it wasn't for the fact that my sword hits people with such huge arc that they just run into my blade. But where's Rissa? I thought she's supposed to be here. And of course, I left the assassin tongue, so I can't use that, can I? More loot. That's good, I guess. One second. Alright. So, she's not here, chat. She's supposed to be imprisoned in there. She's not in town, and I can't seem to find where she is in town. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Carrying all this stuff is... Also weighing me down a lot. To the point where I, I'm not even sure I can't even run in this gear. I can only carry so much garbage too. Firestones. I'm stuck in very dangerous territory. I don't know how to get, how to find Rissa and continue this part of the quest. I'm actually kind of annoyed right now. My eyes are starting to hurt a bit too. I guess she wouldn't just be randomly around here, huh? Yeah, I didn't think so. I wish there was a way for me to, like, spawn Rissa or something. Or to figure out where she is. Casually running past the burning mist, I don't want to deal with him right now either.
Cather wood from the ever burning tree. Good thing our hut's still there. We can take a nice rest in a safe zone. Oh, hi, yo. It looks like there's a creature that's hidden it. That's stuck in the vigil tower over here, too. So maybe that's not just a thing in the marshlands. Kind of based. All this free food that regularly responds. There we go. Headset cord was trapped in a USB cable. Nothing bad. It is fixed. I wonder if I can just spawn an NPC. I wonder if that would ruin anything with the game, actually. Giant hives. There might be hive zombies around here, chat. I need something to keep me from falling asleep. Usually it means killing things, but... I'm not sure if that would be enough. Palladium armor. Did I not bring water with me? There it is. What about food? That works. I'm 
My bread is rotting for some reason. Oh no. Oh, aren't you pretty little thing? Yes, you are. And I wasted that shot. I hope there's only one of you right now because not in hostile or broken AI. That's a hell of a sideways jump you just did. All for naught, though. You didn't even have what I needed. All that fancy footwork and where did it lead you? I get lost again. I actually don't know where I am. I went the wrong direction again, didn't I? I went straight north, and I could have sworn... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter now, though. We need to go west. I always seem to get lost in this game somehow. Beautiful rain. Birds are singing. And it's a nice sunrise. Is it just me or... Well, well, well. Maybe the screenshot feature does work now. It's one good thing to come out tonight. I think I know where I'm going now.
Hey Death, how are you doing tonight? Welcome back. You have 1,000 points, huh? I'm quivering in my boots. I can't wait for you to just dump all of them on top of me. That would be exciting. Rissa. playing Phasma with friends? How was that? Did you have fun? So good, huh? Glad to hear it. Let's see if the Steam forums have any better hints. I'm good. I'm getting tired a little bit earlier than usual for Wednesday stream. And right now I'm just trying to figure out how to complete this quest. Because there are multiple ways to complete it and... Only two ways have shown up and I don't like either of them. Looks like a lot of people also... This quest can get bugged a lot. So I need to either figure out...
I see. After gathering the last piece of evidence, you have two days to get to Berg. The problem here is that you need to directly go to Berg through the marsh. If you haven't unlocked the shortcut, the traveling will count as two days and Sullivan will have left the place. Really? So, I don't think I can complete this quest the way I want to now. Because it's timed. Let's check a guy just to make sure. This is different. This guide says that I need to complete a cigarette passage mission in order to unlock the shortcut to Berg, but I did it by just going through to Lightning Spire. I feel like every time I try to look up guides for this game, it's like I'm reading a guide for a different game. She's in the town square still, so she's not supposed to be in there then. She's supposed to be around here somewhere. I assumed that she would be in the place where she normally was when you first entered this town, but she wasn't. And I can't for the life of me figure out where she went. Because usually she's right here. if she's been teleported elsewhere or if it's bugged or what. <laughs> and why can I talk to that woman but she doesn't actually say anything?
Let's see if the Reddit knows anything. Well, this is bad. According to Reddit, this is a bug in the game, or at least people can't figure out why they can't find Rissa Aberdeen. She's just not showing up. That's really fucked up. He'll be outside the chamber in Bird. Check close to the woman with the dog. Okay. Sure. Let's see if she's over there for some reason. That's Matthias. Okay. Don't know who that is. was there. Okay, that's already lit. I didn't even know this section was here. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this game. here either could she be in the inn
old guy's not here either. Maybe upstairs? She should not be that hard to miss either. Guy with a dog. Where is the guy with the dog? Let me read this again. I actually can't find a dog anymore. Earlier in the game, the dog was over there near the side. But now it's missing as well.
is the part bad part of the game being too obscure. There's very little in the way of help online if you need it. Especially when a game tends to be buggy like this one. Not in the cage, I already checked there. What in the world is this? Alright, this is my last resort. I'm gonna go ahead and check with the Discord for Outward because it's kind of getting kind of ridiculous. I wish I could just put in a console command at this point to complete the mission the way it was meant to be completed.
there no general chat in this Discord? When you beat Apple in a single playthrough, no, you'd have to create multiple characters to complete the story mode. Oh, finally. I was wondering where those things were. Maybe I can actually get some answers now. All right, chat. I'm gonna end stream tonight because this has actually kind of soured my taste for outward for tonight. On top of being super sleepy and trying to figure out how to deal with this issue, let's go ahead and find someone to raid, and then we'll see if we have a better stream on Friday. Sorry for being so stubborn. I know it's not. It's kind of like not entertaining to just watch it, look at a pause screen for remote for like a good, what, half an hour or something? Kira Dolce looks like they're playing Multiverses tonight. We're going to go ahead and say hi to them. Hey, Riza. How you doing? I'm afraid that you came in at a bad time. I just uh, spent, I think I've been soft-locked by... 
a bug in this game, and after spending a good half an hour trying to find a solution, I just decided, fuck it, and then stream tonight because I am not going to be subjecting chat to looking to watching a pause screen for the rest of the evening. Yeah, I was doing okay up until I just re until I realized that I've been spending way too much time looking for this, and I'm just tired of shit right now. My eyes are drooping. It's been a while though. <laughs> Tonight's raid message is going to be nothing special. We're just going to do Lowell's raid tonight. If you have access to these emotes, by all means, use them. Thanks for the Hydrate Redeem and the Posture Check, Pizza. I'll go ahead and... <laughs> Wait, uh, I'll go oh ahead geez. and Why'd use I those. Anyways, hi everybody. As uh, soon as I send you all over, and we'll have a better night on Friday, hopefully. Thanks for coming, everyone. Anyways, I hope you guys, the emotes is going well. I didn't forget. I swear, I didn't forget. I'm just uh, it just took a while to decide on.